After you've killed a thousand devil hosts? Oh, bro. Look. Is that a great sword? It's a long sword. Oh, wow. Jesus. What the fuck? Bro, they're cutting his fucking legs off. Oh my god. It's a counter? Yeah, what the fuck? Jesus. What? Wait, that's a move you can do? That's fucking insane! Oh my god! Bro. That's some fucking anime shit! Oh my god! Well, yeah, now I know definitely Capcom made this. This reminds me of, like, Devil May Cry! Holy shit! Jesus, at the same time. Longsword is the best? Yeah, this does seem really good. Personally, I really love using Greatsword. So I don't, like, I have no problem continuing to use that. Oh, wow, look at it, like, all the parts are broken. He's like, all the, got the white shit all over him. Oh my god. Try the hammer? Maybe. Yeah, this definitely looks really fun, though. Holy shit. Bro, they, they haven't even taken damage. Oh my fucking god. Jesus. That is insane. The two-minute fight. What the fuck, man? I'll link you guys the video. Oh, they, the people from Monster Hunter, um... Uh, let's see here. Uh, Hello Hunters, Monster Hunter series producer, uh, Ryozu Tujimoto, uh, would like to share a few words with you. What's in store for Monster Hunter 2024? Uh, I didn't watch this, I just liked it, and I'm gonna watch it on stream. Monster Hunter series producer no Tsuyimoto desu. Hunter no miyasama, kari o tanosinde imasu desho ka? 本日は新年ということで、昨年のモンスターハンターシリーズの歩みを振り返りながら、ご挨拶させていただきたいと思っております。おお。おお。まずは昨年末モンスターハンター。シバパーズフィードバックオブザワールドインザラストイヤー。世
I hope I'm wrong. You know, it means the community is really invested. That's just what I've seen in other games. Twenty four hours. Check it out. Yep. Yeah, I think I'm gonna play Monster Hunter Rise. Uh, after after I played the first one, I think I will play that one, especially now since I can play it on PC. Am I gonna play it like right away? No, I'll probably give it some more time. I mean, I've got a whole year, right, until the new game comes out. But I do plan on playing it. Yeah, Wilds, there it is. 23 million. Oh my god. At least September. Oh, this is this, this is like their mobile game, right? Yeah. It rise. Support the games. I hope you try the games out too. Yeah, I think it's really funny that like their strategy for getting people to play the games is to tell people to play the games. Whereas like you have a lot of these other studios that come up with like these really elaborate like marketing plans. But the problem is that the game isn't really very good. So whenever people look at the game, they say, wow, this isn't very good. And then they don't do it. Yeah, make it a big discount and it's solved. Yeah, exactly. Rise is very lackluster, in my opinion, compared to the world and Iceborne. Yeah, but I want to understand why that is. Because I feel like every game that I play is something new that I learn about games and something new that I understand about games. So the more that I play different games and I understand that, the better I can see why people have certain opinions and why they don't have certain opinions. Uh, that's why I care a lot about like knowing things, right? Is because I feel like if you, you can predict the future if you know everything effectively, right? And so how close can you get to that? And so I want to be able to know as much as I can because that will give me a better insight into what I think is going to happen in the future or what I think should happen. That's badass. Let me look and see how popular the game is now. Let me pull this up and see. Uh, where the fuck is it? There it is. Yeah, so it was at 144 and... Oh my god, it's actually still getting bigger. Holy fuck. Look at this. Move it back just a little bit. Oh my god. Well deserved. Yeah, I I'm happy, man. This is awesome. Yeah, Asmon Effect? No, guys, I want you to understand. Obviously, obviously me playing the game did help the game. Undeniably, me playing the game helped the game. But I'm riding the wave. I'm not making it. Like, I, I saw a lot of other people playing it. A lot of other people were positive, And I figured, fuck it. Tectone thinks I should try it out. I'm going to give the game a try. And I did. And I'm so glad that I did. But it's not all just about me. But yeah, apparently these guys have been making Monster Hunter videos for, like, years. Look at this. Yeah, I never even heard of this. See, by the way, I think that the way Monster Hunter does multiplayer and online group play is what I wish almost every single game had. Because, like, games having... I, I really love games that are, like, PoE or games that are, like, um, like MMO lights or, like, soft MMO games where... They're primarily solo games, but they have, like, group hubs that you can go and meet up with other players in. I think that's so cool. Like, that to me is, like, peak fantasy. On August 31st, 2013, yeah. today, exactly 10 years ago, Adrian uploaded the first video on this channel. Just beating At the, the time, this channel him. was called Adri MH100. This was the mm -hmm. beginning of what should later be known as Team Darkseid. 
As time went on, Adri made less and less solos. Mm -hmm. Instead, he started to make more multiplayer speedruns with his friends. Yeah, I Eventually think people like watching multiplayer gameplay because of the synchronization. There's just something that's really cool to see, like, for example, like both of those guys doing the jump up at the same time. Actually, he became more inactive on his personal channel, and in 2014, Michi renamed it. It's like watching, uh, like classic class speedruns. It's badass. Dark side. It was oh, this guy! The friend group started. I killed him last night. In speedrun, and one guy from that friend group called the orangutan was offline the next day. And he couldn't join the speedrun on that day. I didn't do the this. The team then finished the run when he was offline by inviting someone else. Yeah. When he came back online the next day, he was upset and called them the dark side because they hadn't waited for him and finished a speedrun without him. Wow. So then, let me tell you the story of how I joined this team. For those who don't okay. know, my name is Chris. But back in the days of Four Ultimate and Generations, my Monster Hunter character was called Niu. It was in spring 2015. I had just finished high school and had a lot of time to play Mods Hunter 4 Ultimate. That was me so for I started a while. to make a yep. lot of speedruns on YouTube. And since I was very motivated to make content, I was eventually invited into the team to join them and help make more videos. The uh -huh. first video I joined was the 5,000 subscriber special. Many of the old members who were part of the team for over a year at the time started to Yeah, see, that is so fucking cool. Lose interest, burnout, Audio or long? I'll turn it up for either Monster Hunter or speedruns. And with most of the old members in active, hey, Michi oh, saw an well, he was in the old games too. With me, I was insanely committed to playing for Ultimate every day. And yeah. Also super motivated to create content on the TDS main channel. That's awesome. And so the two of us continued to make videos so it's for like the a group next channel? few years and became really good friends. Then in late 2016, even Michi lost interest due to months on a generation okay, cool. on the 3DS and how much he disliked the tiny 3DS screen oh, yeah. to play Monster Hunter on. I then continued the channel for around half a year by myself. The channel was called Team Darkside, but I was the only active member. Because I assume that there are probably other developers that have made games like Monster Hunter, but because they're not Capcom, it hasn't really been super successful. Am I right about that? It's kind of like, uh, basically, how there are Souls-like games. Yeah. That I Wild Hearts, to yeah, I was gonna play that on that release. Up with to make four but then, like, the run. PC port was now really bad. Back all those years, since the time I joined this team at 5k subs, I've spent uh -huh. far over 10,000 hours recording, editing, and uploading Monster Hunter videos for you guys. Oh, it's a Kieran. And I'm I really proud that of too. the work I've done on this channel and how much I grew as a person alongside this. Oh, wow. This channel has completely changed my life, and for that, I am very, very grateful. Damn. I'm especially grateful to all of you guys who have been following us and watching our videos for so many years. In 2017, our team finally got bigger again with Furno, Oroshi, Vanitas, and Suki joining. This was mm -hmm. also the year when I started the Gone Wrong series. I originally got the idea when messing around with a Lagombi in Monster Hunter Tri Ultimate. <laughs> in 2017, we moved away from covering Monster Hunter Generations mm -hmm. only. Instead, we started to make videos about Tri Ultimate, yeah, Full Ultimate, good. and Monster Hunter Double Cross on the Wait. Switch. Is this the same guy? Did Tectone? Tectone gave me the thing? It's the same dude! Holy shit! I thought so, I didn't even recognize this, yeah! This is what got me to play it, bro. I'll get his, get his hand the right way. His hand's all kind of fucked up, there it is. All right, we're good. Yeah, he's like, you gotta play it. Cross on the Switch. The fact that I could play a new Monster Hunter mm -hmm. game in 1080p again on the big screen mm -hmm. was huge news for me. Even this if that meant Switch? playing the game in Japanese because obviously I didn't understand anything. Making mixed builds with good skills during that time was a huge challenge. The DS? This looks pretty good for mobile. But then in 2018, yeah. everything changed when Monster Hunter World released. See, that's the thing, because I feel like, like, I never really heard about Monster Hunter until Monster Hunter Worlds. At the time, we had just passed 40,000 subscribers, and while some other channels yeah. like Gaijin Hunter or Eryx were way bigger than us, mm -hmm. to reach 40,000 subs for us was a huge accomplishment, that's, considering yeah. how niche the Monster Hunter community had been before World. 
but with the release of Worlds, Monster Hunter became so much bigger and a huge amount of new players. Well, it's like you look at the quality difference of like the graphics and everything. Like these are, this is fucking like, just it's so much better. Like versus anything else that had come before that visually. I think it looks a lot better than Monster Hunter Rise even. Community. Our video started and, uh, to get yeah, a lot more Yeah, this is a totally different environment. Before. We reached 1 million views for the first time with our Nerf Gigante speedrun in the world beta. This was a few weeks before the full release of the game. <laughs> and overall, 2018 was them. just insane. We absolutely loved the game just as much as we did it back Bro, what does he have? Oil? And by the end of the year, we hit 100,000 subscribers. Damn. 2019 was a big year for us. Two of our members left the team, and while I was sad to part ways, I tried to use this mm -hmm. as an opportunity to improve many things we do in TBS. Wait, TBS's, isn't that the weapon I have? Got paid, and how we communicate and make Yeah, is, isn't that the weapon that I have? Holy shit! Decisions together. I feel like 2019 was the year where we started to take things more seriously. Especially since the channel is a lot bigger now, and we kind of needed to be more mm -hmm. serious in order to not fuck up. 2019 was a big turning point for several reasons. Steven and Luigi joined us, and with them we created our Billy Billy channel. Peppo joined. Oh, it's like a Chinese like a social media. Fantastic speedruns during the time. In that was the one we just watched. After three years, there was no other way than to part ways with him for several reasons, which we had already elaborated enough in the past. But in that same year, right around the release of Iceborne, yeah. two other new members joined us: Vicery and Deus. Apart from being 9,000? What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Holy fucking shit. And this is with a great sword? Deus. Apart from being an amazing. Wait, is that is that with a great sword? What the fuck am I doing wrong? Speedrunner, Vicery started to also continue my Monster Hunter Gone Wrong series. And because of him, yeah. this series completely outgrew my original idea. Uh -huh. Vicery made so many Gone Wrong videos that it turned into a series with continuous uploads for the majority of the past four years. And okay. Deus also became one of our most important members who has been making amazing speedruns. He has been with us through all of the challenges as well as fun moments, and he became Jesus, a truly amazing Jesus, bro, they do so much damage. In 2020, our last two speedrunner members, Artemis and HC, joined us. Artemis is one of the best status gunners in the game, and I've been playing with him since Monster Hunter Try. And oh, HC is one of the best boss. charge blade players, and both have made amazing speedruns and videos on TDS. Jesus. Noel, Fuji, and NK also joined us to make all of our Japanese translations since around the time of 2020 and 2021. I'm super happy to have ten the chance to be part. Holy fucking shit! Are you kidding me? That's insane of such an amazing team of what? content creators, speedrunners, and really good friends. How? I oh my say, god! Guys, it's crazy to think that most of the big Monster Hunter creators from back in the day when we started have either stopped covering Monster Hunter or quit YouTube entirely. And while this is really sad to That's me, always I can how kind it of also understand many of them. Sometimes it's hard to motivate yourself to still come up with new and interesting ideas after almost 10 years. To still yeah. have the same fun and that's, enthusiasm that's normal. that you had when making your very first mm -hmm. video. It's just not the same anymore. And burnout is a serious topic. And every one yeah. of us YouTubers will be a victim of that at some point. Bro, or at least I fought this guy again last night because they said like there was a mission that came up and it said you have to fight him or uh, it goes away. And so I fought this dude again. Bro, this fight is the fucking most annoying fucking fight in the whole game. I hate this fucking fight. I agree. Off stream? Yeah, told me the other day that it's in general really difficult to do something for 10 so years far? and be expected to have the same enthusiasm for it. Sure. Be expected to play the game 6, every single day. These are the expectations that people usually have towards us while they rarely see how long we've already been doing this. And the astonishing fact that we're still even around. But I get yeah. it, it's really difficult to relate to us. Back when we started, we only had a very tiny amount of subscribers. So <laughs> most of our subscribers have... <gasps> Bro, they... <laughs> when we started, we only had a very tiny amount of subscribers. So most of Jesus. our subscribers have... Jesus! just fucking deleted them! ...joined and followed us at some oh my point God. in the last years. But not many of them have sticked around for... The a other weapon that I would want to use in this game is a bow. Like some sort of ranged weapon. Just to see how much different the gameplay would be. Because I feel like using a lot of other weapons, it will be a lot of the same dynamics. But like, yeah, I, I would want to try it out.
past 10 years. Most gamers just play another so game. It's the same as playing like Magic and Elden Ring, you know? force themselves to play the same game for a decade without taking any major breaks. So how is anyone supposed to understand the challenges of that? Also, yeah. we're simply adults now. When we started, oh, they're YouTube, fighting COVID. It was just simply more easy with less responsibility, and we had more time just sitting in front of the mm -hmm. PC. Life just changes in ten years, and we're no robots. Everyone needs a break at some point, and especially yeah. right now is a really rough time to be a Monster Hunter YouTuber. The hype from World is long gone, and Rise and Sunbreak. Bro, failed like to he didn't even know continue that same exact momentum for yeah. a long period of time. Right now, most people have moved on. Most other big creators who are covering Monster Hunters yeah. have, have moved on. Most players in the community have just moved on to play different games. So I think that people like, and that's not really a bad thing. I mean, Monster Hunter is, it's a game with a finite amount of content, naturally. So I, I think it's okay. Like people are always gonna like, you know, move away. Like for example, like there's a lot of people that used to make a lot of Elden Ring content. Now they're not doing as much of it right now because there's no content really for the game. But like that doesn't mean that they don't love the game as much as they did whenever they made the content. It's just that like, you know, they've done that and like now they're waiting for new stuff so they can do it again. They get old and lose their hair. Oh yeah, well there's that too. For you as a creator who is focusing on Monster Hunter only, no matter if you are more experienced than in the past, mm -hmm. make better videos than in the past, put more time into your videos, you effectively get less views anyway. Exactly. And there is absolutely nothing you can do about it. It seems like the monster on the community is... And this is one of the things, like, this is, like, kind of like a YouTuber problem. So, like, I don't want to get into it a whole lot. But, like, whenever you're making content about a game, eventually that game will lose some degree of, of popularity because people just kind of move on, right? They're playing other games. They have other things to do. And so they're not really thinking about playing uh, this game anymore. And so... That's why you see a lot of, like, one-game Andes try to, like... That's why, like, for example, with, like, WoW, like, WoW streamers always try to invent new metas and ways to play the game because there's no real content in the game that people are, like, intrinsically watching for. So they have to, like, create their own content. And I had to do this for a long time. That's how I know about it. And so uh, I, I think this is just what happens a lot of one-game Andes. That's why, like, some of them become, like, super jaded about the game. Because it's like you're going to a job that you like, you like your job, but you are like getting paid less and less every year. And it's just like it's less and less fulfilling every year. That's just how it is. Sleep right now, more than it ever has since world release in 2018. It's tedious. Obviously, yeah, it that will all change with the next big release. For sure. But yeah, for now, that's just how it is. All of the members this in is our team rise, face these challenges. It's not just Michi and myself. All of us in TDS are now making videos for at least three years or longer. Yeah. And we're all yeah, trying to good. catch a break here and there as much as we can to be able to be back and be 100% mm -hmm. motivated when the next release comes out. Because regardless of all of these challenges that we're facing, that nobody of you guys can really see behind the content that we're making, regardless of all of that stuff, all these challenges in our personal lives that we all have, just yeah. as much as you guys have as well. My team and I are still committed. Every one of us is 100% committed to you guys, to this channel, and we will not What's let that you same guys asshole? We will be keeping making- Jesus, bro, now I really need to play this game. Monster Hunter videos for you guys to enjoy. Monster Hunter Now is coming out in a few weeks, which I will cover. The others in the team don't know yet if they will. Monster right Hunter now, now, like that again, That that's the mobile game, right? Now, Vice and some of us are working on the highest damage number video in Sunbreak, yeah. which will be absolutely insane. Michi and I work on a new video similar to our Monster Hunter World size comparison. I've just never seen a game that has, like, it's mobile game that has, like, good action combat. Like, I remember, uh, like, the reason I quit Diablo Immortal was because of that. So, yeah, it, it's kind of fun. I, I bet it's, like, all right. But, yeah, I, I don't know. Genshin? Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. You are right with Genshin. That's true. Yeah. This will also be a banger video. Maybe, maybe it we'll is good. I don't know. With these videos, because we want to make them perfect. So yeah, even after ten years, we are still out here. We're still committed. We are still standing. While so many other Monster Hunter creators have yeah. stepped down, it does make me sad to see so many familiar faces. I don't other... think I don't th I don't think this is the right way to look at it. Personally, I think it's like. They haven't really stepped down. They're just waiting. Because you know half of these guys are going to come back whenever the new game comes out.
their fellow creators, friends, and even community managers to leave. That's the, the way a lot of games. It's are. just like part of the identity of the community gets mm -hmm. lost. But then there's also new people coming, so I guess yeah. it just always keeps changing. But also yeah, to see so many is. others leave makes me somehow proud to be able to say that we are still out here. We are it's still weird for me to think personally, like whenever my stream first started getting really popular, the streamers that were popular there, like at that time, almost every single one of them, like is in a different place now. And like whenever I think about like my YouTube videos for a while, is like back in the day, whenever I was making YouTube videos, the other guys that were making them, well, the two main guys, one of the two, two, two of the main guys, uh, were Bellular and also Lazy Peon, which ironically, both of them transitioned to variety games and they did incredibly well because they made really good content. And uh, I, I remember back in the day, it was like, okay, yeah, like these guys are also doing it. Yeah, Preach. Well, Preach was doing different. Preach was doing like more in-game focused content. I was doing like more just like kind of like game conversation content, you know? Impressive, actually. Yeah, Jesse Cox, Wow, Crendor. Yeah, it's crazy to think back at how many different faces there were back then. On the grind since freaking 2013, and that's crazy to me. Well, guys, I'm sorry for this old man ramble, but um, I really just felt like I needed to get this off my chest. Let me end this by saying thanks to all of you guys who have been part of this journey, who supported us for so many years, who commented on Jesus. our videos, cheering us up. You guys are the yeah. best. And all of my team members and I hope you guys will continue That's cool. to enjoy our videos for many years to come. And with that said, see you guys in the next one. Peace. I will say that like, like Rise doesn't look as a, uh, it doesn't look as good as Monster Hunter World, but it actually just looks like a lower resolution version. Like I prefer the graphics of Monster Hunter World a lot more, but I'm trying to think of like, how can I explain it? Oh, I, I don't know. It, it's just very hard for me to say. It's like, it's arcadey. Yeah, yeah, it looks kind of arcadey. That, that, that's a good way for me to say it. Sure. It has to be. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to try this. Uh, I'm going to try this one out too. Because whenever I watch something like this, like what I'm really watching for is I'm watching for like, like how does the character move, right? How, how do things move around in the game? Because like, I don't, I, I, I care about visual style. Like, for example, I think that, like, Monster Hunter World, like, it came out in 2018, so it was actually quite a while ago now. It's, like, five years ago. But, like, the fidelity of the actual uh, designs on the monsters is not really, really high. Like, if you look at, like, visual fidelity and pixel count on these monsters and you compare it to, like, a new, like, a, a new gen game now, it, it, it it's not good. But I think Monster Hunter has the same thing that uh what do you call it that elden ring does is like there's like a certain type of graphic style and a certain type of art direction that the game has that makes it to where the lower pixel count and the lower quality of the graphics isn't as big of a deal it just looks good regardless yeah it's a good art direction right and so like that's a big difference that i think a lot of people need to realize is that graphics in my opinion everybody thinks about graphics as in like how does the grass look? How do the monsters look? Like, how many pixels are on a helmet? But the reality is that you can have a million pixels on a helmet, but you can still go back to tier three for warriors back in uh, fucking vanilla WoW, and I think that shit clears almost any set that they're making today. Because at the end of the day, the pixel count matters, but the art design and the direction and the style of the game matters infinitely more. Like how many how many games nowadays do we see that have these just incredible, amazing graphics, and it's a beautiful mansion with nothing inside. It looks great on the outside, but when you go in, where is everything? The water doesn't work. What is that? And so to me, like I I am very much a huge simp for like very very good gameplay. Like, that is, and I really mean this, that is all I care about. Like, if a game has good gameplay, everything else doesn't matter. 
I don't care about the, the story. I don't care about the graphics. I don't even care if it has pay to win. If it has good gameplay, I will play it. If it has bad gameplay, I won't play it. Or I might. I, I might still play it if it's if it's something like um, you know, the coffin of Andy and Laylee, right? Is, does that really have good good graphics, right? I don't think so. Uh, but you know, uh, or sorry, good gameplay. I mean to say. Uh, but you know, it doesn't matter. Starfield. Yeah. Starfield is a good example. Well, the Starfield, Starfield's graphics, like in my opinion, I think cyberpunk looks like fucking way better. Like, holy shit. Like neon compare neon to like, uh, night city. It's not even a fucking like, it's just, it's like looking at a PS4 and a PS5 game. It's just such a massive difference. It's not even funny. It's insane, but yeah, I'll link you guys' video. Yeah, these guys, uh, I didn't hear about these guys at all until like maybe a couple of days ago.